The ocean contains both wonders and horrors. It's a mystery to me how people can actually dive into uncharted waters and explore unknown worlds. Come on, you know there's a chance of discovering magic in it. But there's also the chance that what you'll find is just stuff from the worst nightmares. Here are the 10 strangest things that were found while diving. Number 10. Yonaguni Monument At the farthest reaches of Japan's southwest lies Yonaguni Island, most famous for the hammerhead sharks inhabiting the surrounding waters of the small owl, which is frequented by tourists coming from all parts of the world. There is another attraction in the area that has sparked not only great interest, but numerous theories about its origin as well. I'm talking about the Yonaguni Monument, which is a stone formation shaped like a pyramid found off the coast of island. More so, the whole area is actually populated by various rock formations that appear to be elaborately designed, which has led to numerous theories and debates on how they came to be. On one hand, there are skeptics who think these are all just natural formations. However, other experts believe that these constructs are man-made with the mystique surrounding Yonaguni Monument. It's been dubbed as the Atlantis of Japan, proving that there is more to the world than what we can immediately see. Number 9. Underwater Stonehenge Just over a decade ago, experts at Northwestern Michigan College went on one of their routine expeditions in search of shipwrecks and went for a dive in Lake Michigan, where they expected to find the usual rotten hull and salmon and have a crevice and the occasional ghost pirate. They were shaken down to their cores when they discovered an elaborate rock formation in the middle of the lake after a couple more expeditions to the location. Evidence suggests that this so-called American Stonehenge has been around for more than 10,000 years. To add to the terrifying mystery, they also found that the area was riddled with stone idols of varying shapes and sizes, with one even having an image of a massive on car garment. According to local, these stones were placed there a long time ago by some unknown race of settlers in the late Michigan area, which only proves that there is a chance that we're all going to be eaten by a freshwater dwelling, woolly elephant god, one of these days. Number 8. Historic Beer Bottle If there's one thing that can make a man happy more than any other thing in the world, it's the simple joys of beer and anything related to the alcoholic beverage. So imagine the surprise on native John Cross when he found a completely sealed beer bottle while going for a diving trip in the Atlantic Ocean off the coast of Nova Scotia. Plus, this isn't any ordinary ale he found. This one date back to as far back as 1872. The odds of finding a bottle that's more than 100 years old is pretty slim. Even less is finding one that still has its contents intact. The century-old beer in question comes from the Alexander Keats Brewery, which has been making alcoholics out of North America since 1820. Now no one exactly knows how John Cross's bottle of unopened beer ended up at the bottom of the ocean, exactly but unwilling to bet, there had to be some sort of 19th century Nova Scotian kegger involved. Number 7. The Lost City of Heraclean In the depths of the Mediterranean lies perhaps one of the greatest archaeological finds in the history of man, the Lost City of Heraclean, going by its other name, Thonis. This ancient city had been thought of as nothing more than a legend. Mentioned in passing by classical scholars and writers as a place that Helen of Troy had once visited. That is until researchers discover this remains off the coast of Egypt. To even make its existence more apparent, the remains of Heraclean are still relatively intact up to this day, which provides researchers ample data to use for their studies. In truth, Heraclean was actually one of the largest if not the largest ports in ancient times which means it was a center for trade between the various nations of the Mediterranean. It's impressive. Really, considering that the lost city has been underwater for more than a millennium, goes to show we humans have yet to find out about our own history. Number 6. Cleopatra's Palace Just a little over 20 years ago, archaeologists discovered an ancient geographical treasure underneath the coast of Alexandria in it. They found a very well-preserved city that used to have been ruled by none other than one of Egypt's most famous figures in the ancient world's greatest sex symbol, Cleopatra. Constructed anywhere between 51 and 30 BC, the ancient city of Cleopatra was one of the greatest marvels of the ancient world. Unfortunately though, natural calamities like tidal waves and earthquakes caused it to be swallowed by the sea. Thankfully, it wasn't completely left in shambles afterwards. During their many expeditions to uncover what lies in the sunken city, researchers have found near-perfect samples of jewelry, currency, statuary, and even near-complete buildings in the ancient royal city. 
In fact, the whole area is in such relatively great condition that the Egyptian government and United Nations are planning on turning it into an underwater museum. Well, I wouldn't expect anything less luxurious from Cleo herself. Number 5 to 400 year old emeralds. In a discovery that would make both Captain Hook and Indiana Jones pull their hair in jealous, Explore Mel Fisher was able to salvage the remains of what is dubbed as history's most expensive shipwreck in 1622. The Spanish galleon Nuestra Senora de Atoka was carrying a hoard of pressure stones and jewelry before unfortunately sinking off the coast of Florida. However, adventure and real-life treasure hunter Mel Fisher, with the help of jewel appraiser Manuel Marcel Dijmer, managed not only to locate the wreck of the centuries-old galleon, but raid its contents as well. Among the crap loads of gold and other precious stones they found, stands what they consider as the jewel-long jewels of the collection. Uncut emeralds ranging anywhere between 24 to 800 carats and are worth millions of dollars. So, what's the next logical step when you stumble upon these stones? Get them to auction, of course, which is exactly what Marcel Dijmer did, teaching everyone in the world that you should quit school and start rummaging for 400-year-old shipwrecks. Number 4. Underwater River Mother Nature has its way of creating things both weird and beautiful by herself, and that is no more apparent than in the underwater river that can be found in the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico. Specifically, the underwater river can be found in a little site called the Cenote Angelita, which literally translates to Little Angel. Visitors to this underwater cave are treated to what is probably one of the prettiest not to mention mind-bending natural spectacles in the world. A river flowing in a river, in truth, underwater rivers form because of the combination of both salt water and fresh water in bodies of water. When various organic materials like algae get caught up in the mixture and start to decompose, they form a kind of cloudy material made up of hydrogen sulfide called a halocline. The result on the other hand is a pure dreamlike setting that looks like it's been ripped straight out of a fantasy movie. Number 3. The Antikythera Mechanism For more than a century now, the Antikythera Mechanism has gripped the collective imagination of the world. When it comes to what purpose it exactly served the ancient Greeks, Discovered in 1901 in an ancient shipwreck, the mysterious contraption was named after the island of Antikythera, where it was dug up. Thanks to modern technology, we now have at least an idea on what it was going for. Based on the results yielded by experts' X-ray analysis on the Antikythera mechanism, it is revealed to have been some sort of ancient device that doubled as a compass and weather forecast system. According to studies, it was even able to calculate the movement of heavenly bodies in order to predict the weather, which came especially handy for seafarers during the day. Now a device like that may not sound all that impressive by modern standards, but we shouldn't take for granted the fact that this was something invented way back when most of humanity thought there was a dude with a tried and who owned the seas. Number 2. River Treasure All I could say is this guy has found a whole lot of stuff during his dives. For one, it's a pretty common occurrence for him to discover GoPros during his trips complete with footage. Take this, for example, where Jake reviews the contents of one of his finds and discovers it has a video of what appears to be a hairy man walking around naked with the GoPro, most likely hanging from his man sausage. At one point, he even found a handgun hidden underneath a lake, prompting him to contact the police afterwards. However, perhaps one of the most curious, not to mention slightly unsettling finds was when he discovered actual cremated human remains during one of his dives. Don't you change, Jake. You're doing good work. Number 1. The Kaiserin Treasure Trove All I can say is that the treasure trove of Kaiserin in Israel is so valuable that even appraisers can't even begin to manage giving it a set estimate price. So, what exactly is it? Well, the Kaiserin Treasure Trove is a collection of 2,000 gold coins that were minted from anywhere between the year 900 AD to the 1100s. As such, it's one of the largest collections of gold coins ever discovered. Not to mention that, it's also a pretty marvelous archaeological find, only discovered as recently as 2015. Divers accidentally stumbled upon what they initially took to be nothing but pieces of toy coins some kid lost in the ocean. Upon seeing the engravings on them, though, the divers immediately contacted Israel's Department of Antiquities, who then managed to conclude that these are some legit coins they found. There you go, the 10 most bizarre things found while diving. Found any interesting underwater artifacts on your own? Tell us about it in the comments section. 
And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. So you won't miss any new ones we have coming up. Also feel free to share this with your friends in social media. It'll help us a ton. See you soon.